Not so long ago, I hated cooking. And then Laura happened. Um, who am I? Well, my name is Ruta and I'm a Lithuanian currently living in Iran. I know, every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 180th day of my challenge, where first of all, I cannot believe I'm trying my 180th new recipe. This is just crazy. And another crazy thing is that I will try pumpkin pie today. I mean by this time for me this is a pie which doesn't exist in the world I live in. Pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie spice, evaporated milk. Like what are these ingredients? So as for the pumpkin puree, I couldn't find it for over a year and that's why I skipped a lot of, well actually all of pumpkin themed recipes that Laura has just because I didn't have, well, kind of the main ingredient. And when I came to Lithuania this time, I saw a pumpkin. I didn't know whether it was the one I needed, but I grabbed it and I made a bunch of pumpkin puree. So uh, in all of the recipes, I'm gonna try like pumpkin themed recipes. I'm gonna try, I will use that pumpkin puree I made before. So if you're anything like me and you cannot find a canned pumpkin puree, I will leave the link to that video in the description box. So you could well make it yourself. And then uh, I also will have, um, and it's always with the pie crust I get so tongue twisted basic pie crust yeah that's how it's called so I already have it made just because I made it a bunch of times already and again there's an entire video with step-by-step -step instructions how to make it so just because I didn't want to well you know use time for showing you how to cook so that I could talk in that I, I will leave the link to that video as well but I will have a pie crust ready, well the bubble of the dough anyways, um, then evaporated milk. I couldn't find even the translation for this thing, like seriously, what are these ingredients? Do you, do you see what I mean? This will be the most interesting and mysterious pie I have ever made for sure and I think even tried because I have no idea what I'm making today. So evaporated milk, uh, from what I read on Wikipedia, I feel like it's something like condensed milk, just not sweetened. So I grabbed something like that in the shop and I will use that, but honestly, I'm not really sure if I'm using the right thing or not. But anyways, what else did I want to mention? Oh, I actually wanted to ask, mom, please, if you're watching this video, can you just not? I mean, you will have tried the pie anyways, and there will be something in this video you won't like. Uh, so yeah, can you just click away, please? As for the rest, I think I mentioned pretty much everything I wanted to, so just let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need one pie crust, 400 grams of pumpkin puree, 350 grams of evaporated milk, 150 grams of sugar, two eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, or two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves. I'll start with a filling, which basically means I will repeat all of the ingredients once again, minus the pie crust, because that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take the pumpkin puree, evaporated milk, hopefully evaporated milk, uh, sugar, all of the spices, so either the pumpkin pie spice or the cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and the cloves. Good job, Ruta, for remembering all those names. And the salt and also the eggs, and I'll just mix everything together. now 
how not to get tongue twisted, but every single time there's a word pie or crust, I get so confused. So I took out the pie crust from the fridge 10 minutes ago. You want to keep it in the fridge up until the last minute because you want it to be cold, but those 10 minutes uh, at room temperature will help you roll it out easier. That's why I kept it for 10 minutes outside and now I will lightly flour the surface and uh, roll it out into a, well, a circle, obviously, uh, to fit this about 23 centimeters in diameter pie plate. Good job, Ruta, good job. <laughs> I'm like so proud, but let's see if I don't trip right now. So this is a little bit of an interesting plate for me because it has like a, I don't know, like a edge there or something. Uh, but this was the closest dish to a pie plate was it so yeah I will use this one and I want like two and a half three centimeters overhanging so that's what I'm gonna be working on and before that before I get my hands dirty I will go and turn on the oven to preheat to 220 degrees very nicely it's exactly what I want so before actually adding to the pie plate I want to spray it lightly with some non-stick cooking spray so that the um, actual pie crust wouldn't stick to it and I will just trim the edges a little bit because as you can see, it's not really very even because it's a homemade pie. And once that's done, I will not throw away those bits and pieces because I'll just make cookies out of them. I mean, why not, right? So once that's done, I will tuck the pie crust in like so and then just crimp it together to make a nice pattern and that's it. smells amazing such a fall like smell oh my goodness i've never smelled this before but i'm really really in love with it so now i will let it cool down for 30 minutes like so at room temperature and then and this is the part where i know my mom would be mad at me because since i was a child she was teaching me wait mom are you still watching if you are close the video or at least don't listen for like 26 seconds <laughs> please <laughs> so anyway she was teaching that you shouldn't put hot food into the fridge because it kind of ruins the fridge or something like that so the next step after those 30 minutes at room temperature you should take it and put it into the fridge for two or well about two and a half hours and I'm like no kind of nervous that my mom is still watching and she won't be happy with that. So okay, I will let it cool down completely and I will meet you in three hours. Whenever I'm that excited, I'm just 
Oh, we're sharing. So look at this. I love this spy. First, it smells amazing. Second, it cuts so beautifully. I think I will even be able to take it out from this pie plate uh, because actually whenever I make a pie or a cake, I don't want to serve it in the like pan itself. So if it's not easy to take it out from this pie plate, I will definitely use the tart pan next time so it's easier to take it out. But oh my goodness! I'm like, okay, Ruta, a second, collect yourself, collect yourself. Oh my goodness! I don't know if I'll be able to. I just, I cannot wait to try it. First pumpkin pie bite in my life. You're observing that right now. Mmm. Mmm. What is it? Okay, it's definitely something fall like. Such a nice spice blend. Ooh, so that's what pumpkin pie spice tastes like. It tastes good. Wait, I need another bite to understand better. It has such an interesting texture. Oh my God, seriously? Like my hands are shaking. I'm like so excited. This is really nice. It's kind of in between a simple, like a normal, <laughs> kind of pie and the cheesecake I feel like the texture because it holds its shape so nicely and I'm like so embarrassed now by my shaking hands I'm <laughs> so <laughs> seriously I'm that excited apparently about the pumpkin pie this is so cool and actually this recipe today happened only because of one girl Okay, I will put this down and I don't know, I don't think I will be able to come down. So that girl, uh, she actually encouraged me in a form of a slight push <laughs> to just go and find all the ingredients I need and try, start trying all the pumpkin themed uh, recipes because I mentioned that I made pumpkin puree and then I just couldn't find, you know, all the ingredients for I don't know, pumpkin pie spice and whatnot. So she just kind of encouraged me, seriously. So Ernesta, thank you so much. If not you, this pie wouldn't have happened today. And she's actually another Lithuanian who's trying lots and lots of different recipes, mainly sweets though. She has her own blog and I will leave a link to her blog. You know what? I think if you are also someone like us who enjoys trying new recipes and who's sharing them somewhere on social media, wherever, just leave uh, some comment in the comments down below because we would love to just connect. This community is exactly that. We love food, we're trying new recipes and we're just finding each other like that. So um, again, thank you so much Anesta because I actually like this pie. She said that she, from all the recipes she tried with pumpkin, um, this was the only one she didn't really like because it was a bit strange. So of course I had to start with this one. So as my first pumpkin recipe try, I don't even know how to call it. I really like it, like serious. <laughs> my hands are shaking, oh my God. I need to go because I will just embarrass myself further. So if you want, go check the original recipe by Laura there. The written one as always is in the description box down below in both American and the metric systems uh, because I am a metric system girl and I'm converting every single recipe I try uh, into the metric system. So you don't need to convert again. We have one and let's just use that because it worked! <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon! Bye!